Hey guys, it's Rachel. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit today about motivation uh, to work out. A lot of people have been asking me, especially this time of year, they ask me all the time, but especially this time of year, how do you stay motivated? You know, it's easy to start an exercise protein. Uh, routine or program, but how do you stay motivated to actually follow through and do it? Um, and how do you stay motivated on a healthy eating plan and everything? Um, and it's like the number one probably question, uh, maybe number two next to how do I get rid of my belly uh, fat, but number two question that I get asked by um, tons of people. So here are a couple tips, you know, ultimately motivation is tough and we're all human and, you know, it takes every day I have to sort of re-motivate myself and talk to myself in a positive way and say, you can do this, you know, these are the results, this is why you committed to this, you know, get back to your reasons. Um, and even during workouts, you know, I'm in the middle of a workout and I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it, I'm not going to stop, I'm going to finish. So, I mean, it's a constant conversation with yourself and I'm not going to lie and say, that it's easy, um, but but there are a couple of tips and things that I do that I've kind of learned work for me along the way, and hopefully they'll work for you. So number one, make it as easy as possible on yourself. Okay, so this doesn't mean challenge. Don't challenge yourself on workouts. What it means is don't say I'm going to work out at 5:30 in the morning if you know you're not going to. Now that doesn't say mean to say that you shouldn't push yourself and do it if that's the time, and you shouldn't like let yourself off the hook. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying make a schedule and, you know, make goals and a schedule that are actually realistic for you that push you to reach your goals, but are realistic. So don't make it hard on yourself. Don't, you know, say I'm going to, you know, work out six days or seven days a week if it's not realistic for you. Okay. So don't set yourself up for failure is basically what that means. Second is definitely you have to set goals and you have to be realistic, but challenge yourself. So try to set goals like I'm going to work out four days a week this week, or I'm going to work out and finish one whole week of my P90X or my TurboFire or whatever program, or I'm going to go to the gym and do this, these classes this week, and I'm going to, you know, my goal is to lose a pound and a half, or my goal is to see, you know, my triceps getting a little toner or my stomach, you know, getting a little flatter or whatever it is. Set realistic goals. Um, because that sort of leads to number three, which is success breeds motivation. So if you set realistic goals and each week you can feel successful and even every day you can feel successful and you can say, I did it today, I did it. That's going to breed motivation. It's going to make you want to keep going, right? So um, definitely set goals and um, make sure they're realistic and write them down. Can't say that enough. Write down your goals. You have to write them down and write them down often. I do write them down my goals every morning. Um, that's great. But even once a week, just write down your goals because they won't happen unless you write them down. I'm telling you. Um, and schedule your workouts as number, I guess it's four, Ron. Schedule your workouts. Literally, I put them in a schedule. I have a, here, I'll show it to you. I have a calendar over here um, that has all of my, you know, stuff that I do but it also has my workouts and they're scheduled every day. So I know they're written there and I can keep myself accountable and my family can keep my, me accountable and say, hey, you were supposed to do this today and you didn't do it. So definitely schedule. Um, and that leads into number five, accountability partner. So important. Find an accountability partner because, you know, as I said, we're all human and we, but we don't want to disappoint other people, right? So if we have a partner who's trying to keep us accountable and we're keeping them accountable, we're much more likely we're going to stay motivated, we're going to stay on track because someone is, else is looking out for us in addition to ourselves. I have an accountability partner. Um, I have a few actually. I also act as an accountability partner for a bunch of people and I love doing that. If anybody out there doesn't have a support network and needs an accountability partner, more than happy to do that. Um, but basically you need someone who's not going to let you off the hook, who's not going to be mean to you, but who's going to say, hey, did you do this today? Did you do your worker program? Did you, you know, did you keep within your calorie count? Like, what, you know, did you eat that extra cupcake? Okay, what are we going to do about that? You know, so to keep you, keep you accountable, it's very, very important. Um, it doesn't have to be someone local, it can be someone online, on the phone, you know, in today's day and age. Uh, it can be someone anywhere, but you really need an accountability partner. Um, and then um, number six, I think it is, is uh, information, right? So like I said, success breeds motivation. 
In order to get success, I believe you need information. You need information about what you're eating. You need information about how many calories you're burning. Food journals, very crucial to my success. I write down pretty much everything I eat. At least I try to be pretty strict about it. Um, there are lots of applications for your phone. There's lots of different ways, websites to track your calories. Old fashioned notebook and pen works too. Um, and then I track my output of calories. I use a body bug. Um, it's 24hourfitness.com, body bug, best investment I ever made. It is very accurate in terms of calorie output. Most people overestimate their calorie burn and underestimate their calorie intake. So you need to be realistic. If you have the numbers, you can, you know, a ton of people have used the body bug and lost weight just by using the body bug. So I highly recommend it. I don't make any money from it. I don't get anything from it. I just love it. It's a great tool. Um, and then lastly, reward yourself. Okay. You need to reward yourself for your successes because, you know, if you feel like you're, you're successful and you're not rewarding yourself, you're not going to stay motivated to continue. Um, I have like a wish list of stuff that I either want to do or want to buy or, you know, for me, if I finish my weekly routine and I've X off every workout in a week, then my husband, I say to my husband, okay, I did this. My reward uh, for myself is I'm going to go and have an hour by myself. I'm going to go do whatever I want for an hour. I have three little kids under six, so for me, that's a big reward. And I can go to Barnes & Noble and drink a cup of coffee. I can go write my notebook. I can go shopping, whatever it is, but it's an hour by myself. And that's my little reward for myself. So let me quickly go over. I will um, put these six tips on the video uh, so that you remember them and also on my blog at ontheflyfitness.com. Um, but I hope that these tips will help you. Um, you know, I'm here for you guys. If you, you know, want to, um, find me on Facebook, it's Rachel Hamrick, uh, 72 on Twitter. It's R Hamrick. Uh, my blog, as I said, on the fly fitness, um, I would love to, uh, help you stay motivated and reach your goals. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day. Bye.